Hey, Leslie. Huh? Uh, I was just thinking that I could do some research on my phone, and you could do some research on your computer, so we'll get the work, like, done faster. Oh, that's a great idea. Then we can do something else after. I'll go get you some tissues. Here you go, Leslie. Oh, thank you. It's just my allergies. Hi, guys. It's Rachel from Awesome Productions. And, well, today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this tissue box. Let's get started with the materials. The first material you're going to be needing is a ruler. You're also going to need a pencil or a pen or something to mark the paper with. A pair of scissors. A glue stick. Any type of paper. Today I have this type of paper. You can use scrapbook paper, construction paper, computer paper. So it's really up to you. Also, you'll be needing a hole puncher. Finally, you're going to need a tissue. First, you're going to draw a line that's about 5 inches long. Then, draw a line that is 3 inches long. Basically, you're drawing a rectangle that is 5 inches by 3 inches. You should have a rectangle looking just like this. Now, you're going to make 1 inch marks along the 5 inch long line. Then, after that, just extend those marks you made. Then, you're going to do the same thing with the 3 inch line. You should have 15 squares in your rectangle. After you've made sure that you have those 15 squares in your rectangle, Cut the rectangle out, but do not cut out the squares, just the whole rectangle. This is how your rectangle should look like. Since my paper is kind of thick, I'm going to get one blade of my scissor and trace over all the lines. This will help with the next step. If you're using computer paper, you don't need to do this. Next. You're just going to fold the paper along each line of the rectangle. Next, you're going to cut little slits over here and over here. So it should be like this. Then, turn your paper this way and one, two, three. So, on the third square, you can make slits like that and that. Do the same on the opposite side. So, one, two, three, make slits. The last thing you're going to do is cut out these two squares. So, like that. And just like this. And you can throw the squares away if you want to. Like, I'm not going to do it. So you should have two flaps here. Flap here. And like that. Now, apply some glue to the two flaps we created earlier. Now, flip it over. Grab the left flap and bring it up. Then grab the right flap and put it right on top of the flap. Other flap. Grab the last one and just push it up. So your tissue box should look like this. Now apply glue to the other flaps we had made. Like 
Now, take the right flap and you're going to put it on the inside of this wall. So you're going to put it inward and then just press down. And uh, do the same thing with the left flap. To so get the left flap, put it on against this one on the inside. And then, so that's the base of your tissue box. Now, you're going to punch a hole in the center of the center square. Now, rip a piece of the tissue. Roll up the tissue, or scrunch it up, like this. And then, put it through the hole that you had made. Pull it through like that. I like the other end. So pull it through. Should look like this. Then, trim the excess. Like that. Apply glue to the remaining squares. Push down and just, yeah, push down. So just like this and like that. So, this is your completed tissue box. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Well, I just want to let you guys know that this is not my design. And so, all credit goes to Rainbow Tinkles World. Remember, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on what you want Rachel to do next. Thanks for watching!